what's up everybody welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you have already subscribed welcome back to a new quick and easy recipe today we are going to make a super delicious quick and easy barbecue chicken sandwich if you're interested and want to see this recipe please keep on watching Cooking made easy. If you are new here, my name is Claude Mode, owner and founder of Le Bogo Seasoning. Le Bogo Seasoning is an e-commerce website that I created when I was in grad school where we sell organic green seasoning, organic meat seasoning, or meat seasoning comes in different flavors. We have a regular, mild and spicy. We have organic barbecue marinade, organic jerk marinade, organic hot pepper sauce, and so much more. If you're interested and want to try one of our products, since all of the recipe that I have been posting on my channel, I have been making them using the organic seasoning from Le Bogo Seasoning, I'll make sure to have it in the description below. This barbecue chicken recipe is a very quick and easy recipe that you can make under 15 minutes. I usually have it as a quick lunch. I usually make a big batch and have it for lunch throughout the week. All right, guys. Let's jump right into the recipe. And to make a barbecue chicken sandwich, we have some sliced breast chicken. We have some bell peppers and yellow onion. And this is the bread that we are going to be using for this recipe. We also have some fresh sliced Swiss cheese. And this is the organic barbecue marinade that we're going to be using to make this recipe. This barbecue marinade is an all-in-one. It is sweet with a slight kick to it. If you want to try our organic barbecue marinade, I'll make sure to have the link in the description below. And now we are going to season the meat with the organic barbecue marinade. When you are making this recipe, please feel free to adjust the amount of barbecue marinade that you are using based on the amount of meat that you are cooking. And after I added the barbecue marinade, we are going to give it a quick good stir and we are going to let it set aside for a good 20-25 minutes. As I mentioned, this is a quick and easy lunch recipe, so we are crunching for time, so we're not going to let it sit for that long. But if you have extra time, please feel free to let it marinate for a good 25 minutes. In a pan, I'm going to heat up some oil. The barbecue chicken has been marinated for a good 25 minutes, so now we are going to pan fry the barbecue chicken. When you are making this recipe, make sure that your heat is on medium because the barbecue marinade also has brown sugar, so if the heat is too high, it will burn very quickly. So make sure your heat is on medium and keep stirring occasionally so that the chicken doesn't burn. And now we are going to keep stirring and make sure you flip them side so that the chicken can cook evenly. And whenever you no longer see any pink, you will know that the chicken is ready. And now the chicken is ready. This is what it is looking like. And now we are going to add our veggies and the veggies that I have is yellow onion and bell peppers. Now we are going to add our veggies and make sure you keep stirring until your veggies get tender. If you don't want any veggies in this recipe, feel free to not add them. But me, I like it better. It brings a little bit of more sweetness to the sandwich. So I decided to add some veggies. Now that the veggies and the chicken is completely ready, now we are going to move them from the pan and start building our sandwich. And to make the sandwich, we are going to add two slices of bread and we are going to add some sweet cheese on top. Feel free to use whatever cheese you like, but I feel like using Swiss cheese is better when making this recipe. Now we are going to add the cheese and after we add the cheese, we are going to add our barbecue chicken fill then. Then we are going to move back over the stove and toast our sandwich. And this is what our sandwich is looking like before it is toasted. If you don't want to toast it, feel free to skip this step or what you can do, you can also put it under the oven at 400 degrees for 5 minutes or until the cheese is melted. Now I added some butter and a pan and let it melt and on medium heat we are going to lightly toast our sandwich. 
put a lid over it and let it sit there until the cheese is completely melted and now we are flip it to the other side so that the other side can get crispy as well even though i let the chicken marinate for half an hour you don't have to do this if you are crunching for time soon as you mix it with the barbecue marinade it is ready to go and this is what our sandwich is looking like now let's get ready to show the final recipe and this is our final recipe this sandwich came out perfect as i mentioned guys if you want you can always toast this under the oven or an air fryer whichever one you prefer but this recipe was very easy to put together it is a quick and easy recipe that i like to make when i want to have a quick lunch sometimes i'll make a big batch and freeze them and also have them for lunch throughout the week i really hope you guys like this recipe thank you so much for staying with me until the end please make sure to comment below let me know what you like let me know what you don't like let me know what you add or let me know what you will do differently and thank you guys so much for your support if you have not subscribed please remember to subscribe to help support my channel and help me grow and as always guys i'll see you in the next recipe bye now Cooking made easy.